M0FXB, welcome to my channel, RS918HF SDR Transceiver. This is an inexpensive touch screen device that covers bands from 1.8 MHz all the way up to 28 MHz, all modes. It can transmit up to 15 watts of power. It's a very compact, small unit. If you see my hand, just one hand there lightweight small unit has a nice sounding speaker some side handles there and on the sides there are all the connections that you will need for your digital modes and it does work just using a usb cable on all digital modes also it's open source and people have written firmware and i am using the nazir firmware and it's 2024. on the left hand side you have the, U the micro USB, which I also have used for WSJTX, and it worked straight away. You've got another dummy sort of USB, or you could charge your phone on that, BNC, and a little flap here for leaning the radio back. And on the, on the other side, you've got mic connection, phones or speaker, line in, line out. I believe IQ in and out does work, ACC, key, 9 to 15 volt DC jack, just the standard size you get on most devices. A budget speaker which actually does sound good and it's a single pin one there. And there's your flap and this is just the adjustment to tighten and loosen the flap. Some of these do have a battery installed inside them but all you need to do is buy a battery that's got a, a, a DC jack that you can plug in there and you can use it whenever you want. You can even buy batteries with switches on. It does turn on very quickly once it's powered. You just tap it and it comes to life. It's very quick and there's all your, your firmware versions and information. Nice speaker. So we'll just go through all the settings one at a time. Just remembering that you have the actual turning knobs and let's call this the VFO, the large knob here. The buttons underneath for step. Also you have six buttons under here if you can see. Many of the buttons perform dual functions so for example, if I push the AF, you're seeing that it's changing from volume here and going down to the setting below, which is compression, up and down. If you press the button underneath the AF, it just does exactly the same thing, just so you know that. Okay, if I press it again, you'll see it's doing exactly the same thing, just so you know. Right, let's do one at a time. So the very first one is AF. And it says volume here, you can see number 36, let's turn it down, it is too loud. And that's adjusting the volume. If we press it, it goes down to comp. And if you want to adjust the comp, we can turn, turn that as well. Back up to the top for the volume. And there's no hold button to get a function on that. And then we'll go to the very bottom, mode. We're changing the mode. So if you look here, we're changing the mode, FM. RTL, is that RTTL? And it starts to decode, That's decode, look. We're in CW, it's already trying to decode on the screen. AM, Sam, what's Sam? Let me know someone, FM narrow, RTL. Okay, so that's good, we'll leave it in lower sideband. We will connect an antenna in a second. So we're on lower sideband. Let's just move on to the next button. It says RF, we'll push the button. Now look here, it says AGC. If we press it, it goes down to noise blanker, just beneath, noise blanker. If we turn it, we can adjust the noise blanker. If we press it again, I know it says AGC, but actually, let's press it again before we go to those sections. It, when it does just say AGC, that's actually your RF gain. So that's the only thing that I got stuck on there. So just remember, that's your RF gain and recommended to be around 20. Now, if you press press it briefly, the middle button, which is the RF button, and you could push the button if you want. Yeah, what's going to happen? Let's do it. It goes down to noise blanker, and then it moves across to DSP. And if you've got that turned on by tapping it, you can make adjustments. Tap it again, NR notch. And you can now make adjustments using this knob, okay? Let's press it again. 
And now when I pressed it back and we're going back to the beginning here, it says BAS, that's your bass. So that's your sound. You can turn it up and down. And that's just, I'm turning the middle knob, changing my bass, I leave it on zero, press again, treble. Okay, that's just how you like the sound. Now if, if you press and hold this middle button, when it's up here, press and hold it, let's just get it back to AGC. So you keep pressing until it says AGC. Now press and hold. Now you're actually adjusting the AGC. So at the moment it says slow here. Turn the this knob. Let's get it right. Yeah, you have to press. You press and hold, and then you press again until it highlights it. So it says AGC now. Hold. Then press again this knob. It now highlights, we're going to keep doing this till we get it right. Hold. It's now there. Now we need to move down by pressing this. Now it's slow, medium, fast, AGC and off. Took me a while to find that. And then you've got VL at very low, whatever that is, off. Very low. Okay, pretty good, eh? So press like that, and then we're back. It's taking us over back to the, the adjustment here on the NR notch. Press again, comes back. Okay, underneath this button, let's just press the DSP here on the left. And we're back here. When we tap it here, we've got these selections here. That you could have done. You, I'll, I think I'm going to learn from John, my friend John, who's teaching me how to use this radio. I'm really going an in-depth video on just the DSP functions. As I cycle through, you've got peak, NR notch, is that saying M notch, peak. Let's, let's highlight one and let's, let's adjust it. You're adjusting it with the middle knob. Okay. Right, next one, we'll move to the PA button, which is here. Let's just go press it and we're doing the power. We're cycling the power. 5 watt, 2 watt, 1 watt, LSB is underneath, full, 5. So we can just tap it. A lot of these parameters can be changed within the main menu. The main menu you, you actually select down here, but we're not doing that in this video. So we're just going to tap. See that? We just go back to... We've accidentally pressed, no we didn't, CW, we're in the modes again. Tap above, power, 1 watt, full, 5 watt, 2 watt. Underneath, the mode. Tap the mode, you get this grid, FM, like so. To the right of that, 2.5, that's your bandwidth. Now a lot of these things are, are configurable and changeable within the main menu. DSP, then the, the actual signal meter. You've got audio, ALK, SWR, and they work. You've got a zoom here for the scope. See that, it's zoomed right in now. So it's a way of making the band scope cover a wider area, the zoom functions. There may be settings within the item as well, you know, within the main menu. Let me just show you the main menu. So we'll just go into the menu, press F1, you get this big menu. If you want to see what is in all the menus, so you've got all these different menus, you turn the middle knob here down, you can go down until the end there, Hall of Fame shown at the end. Start at the first one, standard menu, turn the, the third knob once. At the moment it says here, show. Turn the third knob and you can start to look at all the items within each section. We're not going to look at them now, but there are many. <laughs> okay. So that's the thing about this radio. It's been designed by, in kit form, I think it's M0CHP, I think. Tell me, correct me if I'm wrong. So that the person using it can configure it um, in every way that you can imagine, whether it's RF, receive, TX, visually, just everything about this can be configured, and that's what I think makes this radio more interesting. Plus, it just works well. I've used it on, let's just exit here, and if you want to save your changes, you hold exit. 
I've used this on, on a transmission just now, 5 watts uh, into Slovenia, and I was just testing, and he, he gave me a 5 and 7 report. And uh, the other day, I had 1 watt into, I think it was Russia, and, and no problem. And then I connected this to WSJTX with a normal micro USB cable, the square type, and um, WSJTX FT8 worked straight away. I, I virtually didn't have to configure anything, just select this radio, and it can be selected in the drop down list on WSJTX. So let's move across. CN tune, I believe, is for CW. You've got split mode if you use that. Split mode there, and when you press it, it shows split frequencies and it will transmit on the you know on the B frequency. Looks really cool. The screen. If you want to change from waterfall, and again, these are in the settings menu, but as a shortcut, you can just actually hold down the two arrows and you go into full screen waterfall, you can change the colours. Let me get an antenna on there. Right, just a long wire with a 49 to 1 balance. I say this to so many people, they message me and go, what antenna have you got? It's just a length of wire, 66 foot long and a 49 to 1 balance, and it just works. Hold down the top two arrows here, hold them down, you're into what they call scope, now I, or spectrum, should I say, if I tap zoom, hopefully we can see that a bit better. I need to learn, learn about zoom settings. See the way it says one kilohertz here? That's our step. So to change the step, you can either press the up and down arrows here, or just press this. And you'll see that the step is changing here. Let's go back to single mode. So we've got split button here. Will it let me out? <laughs> It'll make weird noises. Let's see if I can just get it out of it a minute. I'm not sure why it's not. It wouldn't let me out. I hit split. There you go. It's not letting me out. So because I, I actually don't know how to turn it, get out of it. I'm just going to turn it on and off. Hopefully that will just come out of it. But look how quick it turns on and off. And you you need like 20 amp power supply for this. No, it's still in split mode. Let me come out of split mode a minute. That's interesting. I had to actually push the button. So it's not bit wasn't touch screen. Anyway, we're out. So single mode, not sure how busy it is tonight. So we push for, see it says 500 hertz, press again. 100 hertz, press again. 10, again, five, then again. Let's go to quite a big one. Five kilohertz, and now we can turn and you can see the line is here, the white line is here as well. We press it again. I think one is good. Not great on the activity tonight. Normally a bit better than that. And remember, you can configure all these colors. So then you've got your bandwidth. Set that there, just tap in that. Pretty sure you can press this button for that as well. You can. And then if you look up here on the third button, we've got RIT, R -I -T. that's receive increment tuning. You can tune that, fine tune on the receive. If we hold it, it goes down to mic gain. There you are, 50. Let's just hold, see if we get it there. Now, you're, now that's what I don't know what LL stands for. Let's do that again. If we hold it again. LR, no idea. Digi, is that when you're in digi mode? Okay. And then you've got IQ out, I guess. Hold again. And really, when you're using your mic, I think you do need to hold down the third button and mic should be used there so that when you do transmit on your mic, M0FXB, test, test, test. Okay. You want audio to come out. And I've had some good contacts on here. I've only had it a few days. VFO A and B. You can see it. It does work and it remembers it. Let's press the F4. And then we've got the tune. It goes into transmit. And then when you transmit, let's just go back there. I'm way out of band, aren't we? It'd be nice to get someone. Let's turn the um, RF, RF gain up a bit. There you are. I think that's working better for me with a higher RF gain. There's your, your notch, you know, 
noise reduction. You can plug an external speaker in if you want good audio. You've got peak and auto notch DSP there. Just choose the one you want. So I think we're getting there now. So, you know, you turn the radio on, you choose your mode. LSB, you choose your power. So five watts. Choose your bandwidth. Got it here as well. Again, configurable. If you hold down the bandwidth button, hold it down, you can still adjust it. Look, see that? Yeah, it's gone quiet now. It's busy earlier. So I'm sure I've missed lots, but I, this is just, you know, I am a beginner. I am learning the radio. I'm showing all the functions. It's, it is in depth, and especially when you start going into all these menus. And if you look, you can calibrate the frequency. You can calibrate what they call the bias to make sure it doesn't overheat, although I've not had that problem. There are, there are quite a few manuals for this radio, but the best way to learn a radio is, is just to use it. And I, my advice is, when you first get it, just go to the band you like and just, you know, make, obviously make sure your SWRs. There's no tuner on this device, but you can buy a budget tuner for £50, no problem on for one of these, uh, and just have a contact. Then plug it into your PC, run WSJTX, select this radio, which I think is under M0CHP, and you watch, it just works really well. And that is, I really rate, I, I'm very surprised how good this device is for what it costs and this one was 250 pounds delivered to my door uh, and it came you know it came with a microphone and a, a power lead uh, etc no problem with it it's just a standard power lead that you've probably got on five of your other devices and thanks for watching my youtube channel m0fxb73 all the best